What's today? October 4th. Mm-hmm. Day 570. 100. 570 days since this baby's been started and been done. Yes. Nice. Yes. That's ridiculous. Hello. Oh, that's right. Hello. We're not supposed to talk about that on this show, right? We're, we're, we're live. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Monday Night Trivial with Zulu One and Waters Above, October 4th, 2021. Day 10 five, four, good buddy. Ten four, good buddy. Day five seventy of the siege. Wow, we have special guests this evening: Mark Sargent, Bob Nodell. How are you guys doing this evening? Oh, hello, waters above. Sorry, hello. I was all excited. Don't be sorry, <laughs> I got excited. Yeah, that's bad. That's okay. Yeah. I called her Jen. Or I called her Dottie, I mean. Oh, oh no. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> man. Get that live on there. <laughs> well, you know what's funny is is right when I was getting to talk to her, uh, getting ready to talk to her, Dottie's role popped up, and it just registered, and I went, oh, hey, Dottie. <laughs> mm, ro like, Don't. Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't. Well, that would, it's not exactly an insult. You know? No. Dottie's no, okay. No, no. Dottie's, Dottie's around a lot, and you know. <laughs> yeah, Dottie's going to be hanging out with us at our house, I think, when uh, she comes out here for her Flattoberfest. Nice. Nice. Oh, That's you're going to have free-range Dottie in the backyard? Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She wants, nice. to, she wants to camp on our river. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Sweet. That, oh, that's going to be fun. I can't wait to get there. <laughs> wow. Wow. Flattoberfest. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Oh, I cannot totally. wait. Not yeah, wait. so that's why we're doing the special Flat Earth Trivia Edition, gearing up yes. for Flat Do you, Are you guys plugging that like every show? Yes. Yes, yes we have. Well, that means you should probably officially plug it now. I'm not saying I should run your show. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, we'll get we, we'll get to that. Oh, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be in Spartanburg, South Carolina, October 23rd and 24th. And you can get tickets at flatearthfestivals.com. Excellent. And well yeah. And what well, what is the local hotel? I don't know if it was fully booked or not. The Marriott Spartanburg might be booked already. There is there are other nearby hotels that are nicer and more affordable apparently at the Hilton. So nicer. I didn't no. know that. No, more, <laughs> more, more affordable. I was gonna say just as nice. I didn't mean. We to live in a classy anything. town, Mark. Come on, you've been here. Yes, yes. Oh, I love your town. I love your town. You have great people there. That's right. Mark hasn't been out here yet, though. No. Wait. No, you're... me. Yeah, you. You've oh, been close to here. Place. No, no, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. you've been to Greenville, but uh, not out to Spartanburg. So not Spartanburg. Nope. Spartanburg. Yeah. Spartanburg. One, one, one day, maybe we'll we'll see what the future holds. Yep. Mm. Nice. Well, two days definitely for us and everyone else who will get to be at Flattoberfest. So it's looking be forward to that. Insane. Yeah. You're just so far away, Mark Sargent. <laughs> oh, I know. You know, that's true. I, I couldn't actually be much further away than this. I know. I'm yeah, literally. For, literally. Yeah, for those for those of you who don't know, I am not just in the northwest corner of Washington. Of the United States, I am in the northwest northwest corner of the state. <laughs> you, you seriously, you drive right up the road here, and, and you can see uh, um, Canada, British Columbia, from here. So you can wave to them. Yeah. Do they throw you maple syrup across the border? No, but I I, I miss it. I miss it a lot. You know, uh, for those who don't know, a lot of a lot Which of Americans don't. They they think that Vancouver, that's where Canada stops. That's that's the west <laughs> edge of Canada, and well, no, I they wouldn't be that wrong. But there's another island past that uh, called Vancouver Island with this wonderful city called Victoria, and I lived there for a year, and it was it was fantastic. So, very very cool place. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. And I'm down in Florida, so I'm at the other end of the. Yeah, event. you could not be. We could not be further apart. We are destined never to date. <laughs> <laughs> never gonna happen never gonna happen 
<laughs> never gonna happen. That commute. No matter that how many times people call me Dottie, it's never gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah, you you fucked that up, right? <laughs> oh wait, you're not Dottie. <laughs> yeah, oh shit! Oh shit! Still hashtag still not Dottie. <laughs> still not Dottie. Oh my goodness. Seriously, you could do the um. What was the uh? That's not my name song. You that's oh, that's gosh. you. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Not my name. <laughs> that's not my name. That's not my name. They call me Dotty. <laughs> <laughs> they still call me Dotty. <laughs> they still call me Dotty. What the fuck? Because <laughs> I oh wear glasses. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my yep. gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna give a shout out to the, our amazing peeps here tonight. Please and, do. Uh, we have Ginger Sugarbush. Dottie's World is here, of course. We have Michelle L. Could be Michelle. Could be Ray. We don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have Jameson Kimbrell. Cold Brews. We have Aisling 717. Hi, Cammie. Cammie. Oh. Commercial Sound and Video. Hi, Nathan. Up, up. Young Love 4020, Slow Mo Moon Buggy, Mojo Shop, Amanda Young, Jennifer Flores, Rico's Tinfoil Sombrero, Awesome Austin. What's up, buddy? Hey, what up, Awesome? I got to meet Awesome Austin at Solar Return, but just last week I got to go to his house with my son and our boys had a play date. That was sweet. Oh, that nice. was awesome. Yes, it was awesome even. <laughs> um, nice. Yeah, they, they're the same age. They're both nine. So that was cool. Let's see. Who else do we have here? Billy Tano Bear. Welcome. And Mark Wantroba. Bane Bear. Let's see. Dr. Evils. Larry wow. Stevens. Arad uh or Arad Rashid Ivy. Matrix One. Critical Inception. Flat Accord Music. Buzzacino. Nice. Sue Finelli, team leader is here. And of course, we have Mark Sargent and Bob Nodell with us tonight. Very exciting. Nice. And I Yay. think Arad Rashid Ivy is sleepy Dayton, Ohio guy, I think. I don't him. know. He says he's uh, Aaron from Dayton, Ohio. It might be him. Right on. Michelle Waldo in the house. Welcome, everybody. Yes. So. Sweet. We are doing special edition Flat Earth Trivia, and the first one in the chat with the correct answer gets the point. We're each going to read five questions, and the one uh, in the chat with the most points at the end of the night wins the game. So there's that. And All everyone right. gets a half a point. Just for, for being, being here. Because we love you. Yep. And guys, don't forget to uh, hit the double fast forward on your video so that you get all the way up to the very latest so that you can compete with everybody else. Otherwise, yes. uh, you could find yourself lagging 15, 20, 20, 30 seconds behind and other people will be answering before you even get the question. That's a good yeah. tip, Bob. Yes. That's, that is uh, a pro tip. Yeah. That is definitely oh, a pro and, tip. And that is Sleepy Ohio guy. Awesome. Glad you're nice. here, brother. Nice. Welcome, Jose Nunez, and also hey, Doc Michael is here. Hey, hey, hey. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So, yeah, if everybody is literally up to speed, you can press the, uh, you can adjust your speed, do double time, and that'll get you up to speed as well. Yeah, the chipmunk button, young <laughs> love. That's right, Shelby. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, here we go. Question the first Which entity purchases more helium than anyone else on earth it's a multiple choice you have a 33 percent chance is it target walmart or nasa <laughs> <laughs> I love which, it. which entity purchases more helium than anyone else on earth 
Walmart, <laughs> Target, or NASA? Hmm. I started to get this off too easy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, Ginger Sugarbush guessed Don Pettit just for kicks. I thought would have been funny if the an- first answer had been Don Pettit. <laughs> nice, nice. Could have been, but it wasn't the first one. So funny. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so of course Science. it's NASA, right? Of course it's NASA. Let's see who was Excellent. the first one to say NASA. Dottie's world. World. Dottie's world. Dottie's world gets a point. With Hazling right behind her. <laughs> nice. Right nice. on. Okay, second question. Which astronaut said he would go back to the moon in a nanosecond if only the technology hadn't been destroyed? <laughs> That's a little tougher. Because <laughs> a lot of people know who the hell it is. There it is. Oh, come on, Dottie. Yeah. <laughs> wait did she wait wait she she didn't spell it right though is there is there a technical thing on that uh, no spelling critical doesn't count all right. spelling only counts when we say it counts all right it only counts the, when it really matters yeah judges. so it is indeed don pettit had it done <laughs> and i didn't ask it first sorry ginger yeah so dotty's world gets the point again wow she is kicking ass already killing it yeah two and she's oh all stoked <laughs> she's doing They're it like, Dottie they keep saying my fucking name and shit <laughs> nice <laughs> nice kick ass Dottie. Oh, all right funny. so this one is multiple choice how fast does NASA claim the Earth is going around the sun? 666 miles per hour? 67,000 miles per hour? Or 60 kilometers per second? Hmm. 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 I don't know. Metrics. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are we in Europe? Yeah, well, what is fucking Europe? <laughs> if, if, if it was metrics, the French version of the game show. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if it was metrics, it would be thirty kilometers per second. Yes, ah, Bob knows, of course. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Pick that up. That's good. That's good. Okay, so I let's love see. us. Just saying. <laughs> uh, holy cow! Is it true a third time? The says 66,600 miles per hour. And Billy Tano Bear says the same thing. So is yes. this choice less accurate? This was a rounded number for the choice. Yes. Um, so we should give it, it to... What did the, the judges say? Uh, 66, I would say critical inception would I agree. probably get it yeah that's more i agree okay yep yeah. all excellent. right excellent alex nice okay nice. see you Next soon question. by the way brother <laughs> <laughs> give it to dotty <laughs> <Can't we? laughs> okay here we go this is also multiple choice when was the copernican heliocentric model published in the 1400s, 1500s, or 1600s? With a 33% chance. When was the- Unless you know the answer. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a chance, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, man. When was the Copernican heliocentric model published? In the 1400s? 1500s or 1600s? Let's see. We're getting we're getting all the answers. 15s, 14s. <laughs> Don Michael's the way for the question. <laughs> BLB so much Jake gave me 1535. That's not exactly right. But it's close. <laughs> Larry Stevens gave me 1428. That's not exactly right or close. 
eighteen twelve overture. I don't think that's, that's awesome it either. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Oh man, the one hundreds. Okay. Yeah, you're not racist, Nathan. The, the Copernican heliocentric model was actually published specifically in 1543. So the correct answer would be 1500s. So let's see who was the first to type that in the chat. Is it really Dottie's world? I just got to say it's freaking Dottie's <laughs> world. She's killing it, you guys. Killing it. Critical Inception got one, one point and Dottie's cleaned the rest here. All right. All right, so last question for me. Which Nazi scientist has Psalms 19.1 engraved on his tombstone? Clearly, it's Himmler. Which Nazi scientist has very, Psalms Oh, wait, is it, is it multiple choice, or do you have to know? Oh, you got to know this choice. one. No, oh, this one you got to know. This okay. is the fill-in-the-blank. Tip, it's not, not, it's not Gehring. <laughs> it's not Gehring. Nope. Nor Himmler. Nor Himmler. Or, Himmler. or, or, Go, or Goebbels. Or Goebbels. Okay. I like Goebbels. They're cute. Adorable. <laughs> it's not really the same one, man. Oh, they're not the same? No, it's not the oh, same. Oh, one is, one is super evil and the other one's super <laughs> cute. Got yeah. It. One's, one's, one's an evil version of it. <laughs> So I am looking for the full name, Warner Von, I, Warner I von miss, Braun. Miss Gary. And Critical Inception gets the point. Nice. Nice. Very Verna good. Von Braun. Nice. Verna. 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 Right on. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. So, so far, Dottie's World has three points and Critical Inception has two points. Close game so far. <clears throat> nice, nice, nice. Bob is All right. here, so he doesn't get points tonight. <laughs> I know. No, you guys have all, a chance. They're also they have a chance. <laughs> I know. They have a chance to actually win. <laughs> all right. So, well, Bob gets right. to shout everybody out. You want to say hi to the chat? Oh, I do. Okay. I will shout everybody out, except I, I do it the it. easy way. I go up and, and go to the participants. The, uh, participants. <laughs> yes, I know. I was struggling. All my oh, there's a participant thing? Oh, yeah. Wow. How do you do that? Yeah. Oh, I'm no. on the phone. That's yeah, right. you can't do it on the phone. You have to be on the computer. Oh, slick. Yeah, now that I know that. Yeah, I can't even do it oh, alphabetically. Oh, nice. You're all psyched. You're like, shit, I got this, <laughs> I got this shout out thing. Silly people. <laughs> yep. So we have Aisling717 in the chat. Hello, sweetheart. And we oh, have Arad oh. Rashid Ivy in the chat. Howdy. Bane Bear is with us. Billingtano is with us tonight. BLB Sayo Much Jake. Did I pronounce that right? Sayo? What up? S A U X. So. How you doing, BLB? So, okay. Uh, <laughs> Bombaclat Gatofish. Oh, God. Some of these names are crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm up. Cleary, how you doing? Commercial sound and video. Nathan is with us tonight. Critical Inception. Doc Michael and Dottie's World. Dr. E. Vales. Uh, Emilio's Van. And Fathead's Adventures in Homesteading. Those guys have been around for a long time. Uh, I remember that from a long time ago. Uh, Flat Accord Music, Ginger Sugarbush 905, Jameson Kimbrell, Jennifer, whoops, where'd I go? Flores, there we go. Jose Nunez, Larry Siebens, Mark Wantroba, hope I got that right. And Matrix One, and hello, Michelle L. And Michelle Waldo also in the chat. Awesome. Mojo Shop and Rico's Tinfoil Sombrero. All right. Howdy, howdy to all you people. All right. So I will go ahead and start with my first question. Guys, you definitely are going to want to be caught up on these because they are easy. So it's going to be a matter of race. So, you know, make sure you hit that double fast forward, you know, get to the two until it stops. <laughs> that way you're up to the very latest second. And, uh, with that being said, I will go ahead and read the first question, which is, which star is astronomically aligned with the capstone on top of the Georgia Guidestones? Again, which star is astronomically aligned with the capstone on top of the Georgia Guidestones? 
And there we go. <laughs> it's a race. Oh, that's harsh. Okay, well, unbelievable. I can't believe who got it. <laughs> but from what I can see, it looks like Dottie's world's already got Dottie, it. Dottie, get out of here. It. Holy cow. Get out of here. She's got a T1 line going into her house now or something. <laughs> what the hell? How'd you do that? I no doubt. Isn't she in Washington or something? Yeah. That, that's she's amazing. A, she's the second farthest away. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Well, it just goes to show you. Well, um, that's definitely it. It's uh, Polaris, so Dottie's World gets the point. Good job, girl. Nice. Well, nice work, nice. Dottie. <laughs> she says, I win, Flat Earth. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. There you go. All right. Oh, okay. I, Gee, I almost science. feel bad for reading this question, but I I'll read it anyway. Okay, you guys uh -huh. ready? Here comes the next question. It is, how many Flat Earth clues were written by Mark Sargent? Oh, boy. <laughs> how many Flat Earth clues were written by by Mark Sargent. That may be kind of a trick question because the, we're talking the original or just a couple that came out after that? Uh, I think all of them. All right. Including the addendums. Okay. <laughs> and and I hope that this is the correct answer. I think it is. Pardon but uh, I'll just say I believe, I believe it's correct. Okay. Yeah, well, you should know. We'll just let you answer. The <laughs> You're getting a ton of different answers out there. So Really? Hang, hang on. <laughs> Here's the 10, 213, 13, 7, 23. I'm going gonna, gonna to say it was, what, what answer do you have? Do you have 13? I have, four, I have uh, No, I have, I have 14. Oh, okay. Well, the first person with 14 was? Critical Inception. Critical Inception. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people guessed 13. That's a, that's a tricky one. Yes. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, Mark, 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 one bro, or where is he? Where is one troba said 13 or 14, but you can't do two. Can't do both. <laughs> <laughs> but, you one. know, we'll give you an, we'll give you nice. an A for trying there. <laughs> nice. Hey, do you like the thumbnail? I put us in front of the sign. Oh, very nice. I was just in front of that sign uh, yeah. last week. Yes, I saw that. That was awesome. That's but where I took the screenshot tux? from. No, I wasn't in a tux then. <laughs> wow. God, I haven't seen me in a tux since I got married. Nice. And nice. I actually did get married in a tux. Excellent. Crazy. Okay. All right. So we got that one out of the way. Next question up is, what is the formula NASA provides to determine the supposed curvature of Earth? Is it 33 inches per mile, 8 inches per mile squared, or just 8 inches per mile? Again, what is the formula NASA provides to determine the supposed curvature of the Earth? 33 inches per mile, 8 inches per mile squared, or 8 inches per mile? And, wow. I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I went with too easy of questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dottie, Dottie mutilated the word squared, but uh, I got what she meant. <laughs> <laughs> she luck his bone doesn't count. <laughs> But uh, yeah, boy, Dottie's got a good connection to us tonight. That's for sure. Who started the the show? Was it you, Zulu, or was it Jen? It's yeah. you, right? Yeah, I did. Huh? Must be on that north side of the country feed. Excellent. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> the north side of the country feed. <laughs> the, one, the one they took down when they, or they made all that room for when Facebook. You know, went down today. Oh shit! That's right. Facebook and Instagram and yeah, whatever. I didn't. No, I, you know, I never knew that was owned by Facebook. Yeah. I didn't either. I was surprised. It's. I'm surprised that there's tons of stuff that we didn't know that lots of people own. And mm -hmm. I'm already starting to see videos come out. You know, what the real reason was that Facebook went down, and I have my ideas. If you know that might be it, but uh, I'll just have to see what other people are saying. Because, you know, they said it was a DNS problem, and I say that's bullshit. <laughs> There's no way that a DNS Probably problem not. would disable a network for, like, six hours or however long it was. They were draining was... the swamp. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking All Trump. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so let's move uh. on to the next question. 
Okay. Uh, contestants ready. Next question is, do surveyors calculate for curvature? Again, do surveyors calculate for curvature? One of those yes or no answers. It's a 50-50. And, you know, this is going to be, this is going to be a really difficult one. And, and everybody's saying no, which, of course, is the right answer. And it looks like Dottie's World got it right. Get but, out of here. But I would argue, guys, that that's all that surveyors do is calculate for the curvature because they sure as hell don't measure any. Right? Yeah. Good <laughs> point. Good point. So where did it come from? Huh. Well, they have to calculate it in. So, but we'll we'll go with your answer. But yeah, interesting. Well, I we was take, going we by take exception with that. Right, I was going by uh, Mark's um, uh, <laughs> the one one of the expert witness. I forget. What, oh my God, what do you call them? Expert testimony things. Oh my God, the subject matter experts. Subject. Matter. Thank you. Holy yep. shit, that was so hard for me to say. <laughs> That's right. Oh, speaking of subject matter experts, Mark, um, I am looking for a guy that was on your show at one point who is a vacuum expert. Oh, right. Is he still around? I don't. Wow, that was four that years was ago. An awesome one. Yeah. Um, I will see if I've got his email lying around. Okay. Um, because he wasn't on. He wanted to remain anonymous because there were very few. There uh, are very few. Yeah, he's very. He, there's not a lot of companies that that deal with that. Um, right. But I'll see if I can dig him up. Okay, that would be cool because I mean I've been covering the the vacuum a lot lately, and I actually had to make a retraction on something about the ISS. And then a lot of people have been writing me saying, no, that wasn't necessary to do that because they really don't know. Anyway, I won't go through the whole story, but now I'm wondering again. So, uh, but. Again, if what I said was right initially, uh, you know, at least to some degree, um, then there's going to be so many killers in there, you know, for the vacuum. Of course, we know it's all bullshit anyway, but um, I'm really trying to to get this accepted in the mainstream. So I would love to talk to a vacuum expert if possible. So cool. That's all right, killer. guys. Yeah. So we got one more question from me uh, and then we'll hand it off uh, to the next person. And that question is, who wrote about satellites before they existed? Who wrote about satellites before they existed? It's a little bit tougher one there. Um, he wrote about a lot of science fiction stuff. So I think that, uh, you know, that should be probably more of a hint, a pretty good hint. <laughs> Commercial sound. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> People are saying hi to each other. I thought they were answering. Jules Verne. Nope, sorry. Not Jules Verne. <laughs> <laughs> Orwell. Nope, not Orwell. Oh, Shakespeare. looks like we got one. We got one. Uh, commercial and sounded video comes in with the correct answer of Clark, as in Arthur C. Clark. So, going to have to give that one to Nathan. Good job, Nathan. Nice. And shout out to Rob Cleveland, who also, he got the whole name. Oh, yeah, you got it the right, full too, name. Yeah. But yeah. right after. But, yeah, Clark. Oh, yeah, and Ian, too. Yeah, usually, like, nice. in Jeopardy, all you ever have to do, like, in Jeopardy, is just do the last name, typically. So I, I accepted that. Yes. Gotcha. So, cool. Hey, Kubrick. All right. Otherwise, uh... Next up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, hey, Mark. Am I up? Uh, you're yeah. up. How are you, you sir? You, you demand. Uh, I am good. All right. Good. So... Very, sexy, very sexy voice. Could you say hello to everybody in that oh. voice? That was nice. I liked it. Oh, right, right, right. Hang on. Let me do a shout out to... Um... <laughs> <laughs> let me punch this thing up. Give him time to click on participants. Yes, participants. Now All you know right. Pro tip. I know. Badass. Starting from the top. Uh, oh, wait, he's... wait, wait. Hold on. Before you shout out, everyone has to do the thumbs up button. That way he'll definitely shout out your name. Okay, go ahead. Well, no, I'll shout hey. out everybody. Why, why, why don't get it. Oh, yeah, up. Up. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't give a thumbs up. You won't say your name. <laughs> I, I'll say your name, but I won't mean it. All right. Yeah, exactly. Right. exactly. And we have thirty-eight thumbs up and thirty-eight watching. So I think I think no, I there. think, I think you're probably, okay. <laughs> yep. All right, participants. Uh, Aisling seven seven. Do we say just seven one seven or seven seventeen? 
Seven seventeen. Seven seventeen. You're too good for him. Bane Bear. Yeah, yes, she is. <laughs> Billing Billing Tano. Billing Tano. Uh, BLB. So much Jake Cleary. Commercial sound and video. Critical Inception. David Wolf. Dottie's World. Doctor E Vales. Emilio's Man. Eric. Do whoa. He just disappeared. Uh, ah, nice that's funny. Video. I knew what you were thinking. That's Eric. Funny. Eric Dulian. Flat Accord Music, Ginger Sugarbush, up there in the wonderful place called Canada with unicorns and sparkles. Glowbuster, <laughs> never trusted that guy. Ian, Jennifer Flores, Jose <laughs> Nunez, Kirk, Larry Siebens. Get the hell out of here, Larry. Get the uh, hell out of here, Larry. <laughs> Lloyd Elling, Mark Wontroba gets points for at least his first name. Matrix One, Michelle L. <laughs> Michelle Waldo. Don't know if they know each other. I figured all michelle's did mojo's shop rico's tinfoil sombrero <laughs> that's a great name uh rob cleveland smurfer girl whatevs uh possibly <laughs> a, my future ex-girlfriend ted yeah. oh ted you gotta stop sending me those pictures man uh the na the nay nay likes the nay yikes nay yikes Nayakas. 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 Yes. Is, is, I say it wrong too. Probably. Are they part Nayakas. Eskimo? Because if they if they are, I hate them already. Valley Parks. Water above. Wesley Stace. Wesley. Stace. <laughs> Holy smokes! Wesley, what? I thought, you, I thought you were dead. <laughs> How Holy are you alive? Yeah. Right. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. No, seriously. I, I heard he got COVID and died. Uh, and Young Love forty twenty. So. Dottie's world. I'm Mark. Holy Cuban cow! Yeah, Mark's here. Mark's right. a little schemo, um, schemophobic. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it. <laughs> oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, schemophobic. When yes. you're afraid of uh, Eskimos? Eskimos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right. The questions are. <clears throat> here we go. Ready. <laughs> Uh, yes, right. people. What does tip, tip, tip. what does the AE in the AE map stand for? Go. Tick 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 tick. Apple enchilada. You guys should know this. I've only said it about a thousand times. What does the AE stand for in flat Earth? Damn it, Dottie. <laughs> I saw it out of <laughs> damn. She's fast. Yeah, well. Yeah, wow. Well. All right. Dottie gets it. Ginger came in second. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. And she even spelled it right. Did you cut wow. and that? <laughs> I've never wow. seen anybody kick ass like this before. I wow. did not send Critical her the answer. Critical Inception answers. got it second I, on mine. But yeah, Dottie's world got it. Yeah. yeah. First, right. first. What year... Did Admiral Byrd execute Operation High Jump? Ooh. Tick, 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 tick. What year did Admiral Byrd execute Operation High Jump? Hint, it was after World War II. Yes, it was. Dottie's World is wrong. Oh! Unbelievable. Oh, wrong. Oh, you hate wrong. to see it. Yeah, rookie mistake. You hate to see it. Wow. Boy. So far you fall. Uh I believe I see it. Was it Smurfer Gird that had it? Or... I see Rob Cleveland. Rob Cleveland. Yeah. Uh, it's right. It's Rob, yeah. I, Rob Cleveland too. What, the correct we... answer is nineteen forty six. Yes. Right after the, yep. the end of World War Two. Yep. Oh, Where hey, he Mark. Did. Yes. You want to hear something really cool? So sure. <laughs> I was looking through my phone, um, and you know, apparently Google, when you have a an Android, and I'm sure it does it on iPhone too, mm -hmm. it will upload everything to the cloud that you've ever taken on your phone, right? Videos and stuff. Right. And so I was going back through there one day, and I came across a whole bunch of videos of you and me and Cammie and Rick uh, – Hummer. Uh, Hummer and yeah. Patricia all up at the house in, in Canada where he oh, was doing in Alberta. The, yeah, wow, when he was doing the interviews of us as <sighs> it was classic. Oh my god, it was funny. We were laughing our butts off. It was so much fun. 
that was a fun trip. It was. Yeah, I think that was putting on a video. <laughs> that was that was a great thing. Uh, the the Canadian conference, which was at the that giant massive mall, and uh, oh, so many cool memories from that. Like the fire alarm system going off, and <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it's a Canadian fire alarm system, so it's it's fairly pleasant and very polite. Uh, but it went mm -hmm. off for what a solid hour, I think. Oh, at least yeah, it was oh, crazy, just brutal. Awesome. And then yeah, then we went to that cabin and and. Uh, up and up we drove quite a ways and yeah it was great i i yeah. love that trip rob rob was with us rob skiba yep rob um, skiba was with us that yeah. was just fabulous and rick of course was in full character <laughs> and then the next day he was interviewing mm -hmm. all of us and i had my lab coat on and uh but yeah the the session that the night that we got there when we were all sitting around the table yeah. and set up all those cameras i'm sure you remember i had all that recorded and it was just oh, hilarious wow. to watch it. that's awesome <laughs> that's great wow yeah. fun, fun what stuff. year was that that was uh, 20, 2017 or 18? 18, 18, I think. 18. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was great. That's wild. All right. The uh, the fourth question. Uh, under what pseudo... Well, we'll see. People are going to have to look this one up. I don't know where you dug this one up, Tula. Uh, under what pseudonym did Samuel Robotham write the book Zetetic Astronomy, Earth, Not a Globe? Question mark. What pseudonym? Did Samuel Robotham use? I know, I know. I didn't know this <laughs> as I was looking up the book. It's like, oh, really? Shit, no kidding. Yeah, I, I so it's, it's one of the realize. first books I bought. Yeah, and it, it's, it's, it's okay if you try to look this up. You know, it's not that you can't use Google for this. I don't know if anyone, this may stump people. Whoa, critical, conce critical inception. inception. Yep. Well oh, shit. Yeah. Took yeah, a long, nice. longer, though. Right on. It's a delay. Oh, nice, impressive. Rob, Rob Cleveland came in second, and then uh, I don't really care about the rest of the people. All right, <laughs> so let's. Uh, the, the correct answer is parallax. Parallax. Yes, awesome. yes indeed. Jose Nunez got it. Yep, yeah. and uh, so did Matrix One. Uh, Larry Stevens just typing in Viagra for no apparent reason. <laughs> yeah, which was great. It's nice, nice to know what you're thinking about right now. It's it's not necessarily uh -huh. recreational, you know. You can't eat it like like candy. All right, terrible. I never knew, like you said, that once you use it, you have to use it always. People, if are you crazy. if you're why on it for do that, if you're, well, it's like anything. If you're on it for long enough, which is why you know, not that we should go off into that neck Sorry. of the weed. Sorry, but, but, no, no, if, but but you know how high school guys, uh, kids are, right? It's like, dude. I totally used it. It was great, man. It was really, really great. And then they they start using it for a crutch, and next thing you know, you're 25, and it's like, yeah, man, I need it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, then it becomes really a performance drug. Or an anyway. I know. It's crazy, crazy, yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, as as if you need an erection enhancement drug when you're in high school. Exactly. I don't think so. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, I, I think that's yeah. pretty much standard equipment, you know. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I'm old and I don't need that shit. I'm good. All right, the last. Moving on. Yeah, so no, moving please, on. Please get me Thank out of this. Please for... get me out of here. Thanks for 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 messing with us, Larry. Mm -hmm. All right, the last question from me, anyway. Who took the photo of the Sears Tower across the Great Lakes that the media called just a mirage? on a multiple choice question who took the photo pro tip it's a professional photographer yep with a weird last name yeah just sort of is it mind. polish it might be a polish last name it kind of sounds be. polish yeah i think it's polish yep i married a polak cammy's a polak her, her maiden name is rosmeric so the uh, like i that. believe a new person has gotten this answer correctly which would be mm, I see Mojo Shop unless yep. somebody else. Yeah, Mojo. Uh, Mojo Shop got it. Mojo Shop got the answer. Congrats, Mojo Shop! You win a brand new Chrysler Cordoba. Nice <laughs> with rich uh, Corinthian rich leather. Rich Corinthian leather. <laughs> yes. Oh my God! I had... Sign the dash is actually signed by Ricardo Montalban. Ricardo Montalban. <laughs> oh my God, dude! I knew two people that had had those cars. I hated them. I hated that <laughs> car. I hated that car. It was horrible. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. The Cordoba with rich Corinthian leather. Holy <laughs> shit! I'm so old. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. Remember the rich Corinthian leather? <laughs> wow. Wow. Because that's a thing, Corinthian. Yeah, is it? Every yeah. minute, it's like, well, I, I never, outside of that car, I had never heard. It's like, you never, it's like, oh yeah, my jacket, it's Corinthian leather. Never heard it anywhere outside of that car. <laughs> I want Corinthian leather shoes. What about pants? <laughs> The new NFL oh. footballs this year are going to be made out of... leather pants. They have to be Corinthian leather. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Duh. <laughs> All right, who's next? Holy crap. Oh, uh, so, oh, so we got that one? That was it. Yeah, Joshua. Okay, sorry. sorry. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. It was... um. What's his face? Um, what's his face? Mo Mojo Shop. Yeah. Okay. Joshua, I'm sorry, the correct, the correct answer was Joshua Nowicki. That's right. Nowicki. Anyone else that didn't say Joshua Nowicki would be wrong. They were wrong. And that's, Bummer. that's all of them? Yep. There was only, there was, I only had five questions. Yes. yes. All right. So now Zulu won. All righty. Uh, hi I, to everybody. I don't have the uh, players list. I'm on my phone, so I'm just going to start at the bottom here. Work my way up. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Eric Dulion, what's up? Larry Siebens, commercial sound and video. Nathan Hugs, Aisling717, Cammy is awesome. Emilio's man, Ian, Smurfer Girl, whatevs. Uh, by the way, screenshots are discouraged. <laughs> Michelle L, is, or is that Ray? I don't know. Question mark. Emilio's man, I said. Uh, Bane Bear. Flat Accord Music. Hey, what's up, brother? Jose Nunez. Nemo 289V. Hello, hello. Critical Inception. See you soon, Alex. You're going to be camping over at Jack's, you said, right? Uh, Whale Oil Beef Hooked. Hello. BLB. How did you say it? So, so much, Jake. So much. Not gonna, not gonna work here anymore. That's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting it. Matrix One, David Wolf, <laughs> the Nayakas, Lunar Node. What up? What up, Dottie's World? Michelle Waldo. What? How many points do you have, Dottie's World? Six million. Kirk. You're, oh, you're yeah, no longer Kirk it. Wilson. Not Kirk Wilson anymore, huh? I think he's in the wrong chat. Wesley stays. Wow, can't believe that's a wild senior. Uh, Ginger Sugar Bush. What up, Ginger? Bane Bear, Mojo Shop, Rico's Tinfoil Sombrero. See you soon, too, brother. David Wolf. Uh, did I get everybody? Hmm, I missed close you. I'm enough, sorry. I think. Va Valley Parks. Hello. Hello. If I missed you. Sorry. I love you all. Hopefully, see you soon. Oh, waters above, my favorite. Aw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rob Cleveland, what's up? All righty. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, I got some questions to read, don't I? Let's see what yeah, I got. you only forgot two people, as far as I can tell. Did I? Yeah, uh, Mark Sargent and Globusters. Oh, those two. <laughs> They're sketchy as hell, though. I don't know. I know, I know. Especially the sergeant character. <laughs> I don't know about him. Illuminati <laughs> power confirmed. Fucking A. <laughs> Sorry. I put my channel Sorry. back up, by the way. I Yeah, no shit. You, Dave, are you strike why, free? Pull some strings. That's why tomorrow's show is going to be called um, Resurrected. <laughs> because nice. I don't know. I got I got 11 guideline strikes. And I'm still yeah, standing. How, I have how? Well, Yeah. How? How? When do they? When do the guideline expire? Uh just last week. Oh wow! So yeah. it was like a month. For three or? months. Three months. Holy. Well, crap. I got three. I got three strikes, and then I got another eight <laughs> piled on top of that. And I'm going. Well, my channel's toast. <laughs> I'm, I'm doomed. Yeah. And well, I, and I thought if you got three, it said that they were just they pull you. Uh, they have the option. The verbiage is they have the option of pulling you. Yeah. And uh, I thought, well. And that's just with three. I'm thinking, well, there's so many. There's like, what? What? Do you, it's like you know, watching the guy in the movies. You know, he he got a full clip emptied into him, right? You don't even have to look at him. He's going down. You know, right? you gotta wonder about that, Mark. You know, because there have been.
plenty of opportunities where they could have taken us down, you down, and yeah. lots of people. And they even gave Karen her channel back. And it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's out of the goodness of their heart. So me, I'm thinking, no. what the hell are they up to? I know. You know? And they gave Karen's back the next day. She got know. you know her third, and they're like, I know there must be this list. Like, no, 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 don't, don't take them down. We're we're <laughs> they're a special case. We're not those doing. We want up. We want those up. Yeah, like why? I I did. I never got an email from. Them. I never challenged anything. All I knew is that the guy I have doing admin stuff on every once in a while, he sent me a thing like last Wednesday, and he goes, he goes, you're never gonna believe this. He goes, you have no guideline strikes anymore. They all expired. I'm going, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's no way. So yeah, thanks to the agency. Well, maybe half the well. purpose is just to keep us confused. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or they think we're going to be martyrs. No, I'm still not going to be able to post any, you know, my a, a lot of my recent interviews and any of my strange worlds because I'm raging against the whole. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, thing. If you posted right. one strange right. world, it'd be over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. right, right. But yeah. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, I can't even talk about it. Yeah, I know. yeah. I know. I can't stupid. even talk the thing we're not supposed to talk about. I know. So stupid. No. Anyway, so. <sighs> Go ahead. All so, right. Uh, ahead. All right. So my first question. When was NASA's first official photo of Earth taken? What constitutes official? Well, there. <laughs> we're, talking the, we're, talking the we're talking the original There's, blue marble? The blue marble uh, shot? Maybe. Okay. Maybe that might not. Help. That might maybe help not. You. Maybe not. Well, no, it's your rules. You have to tell them what, what photo it is. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say, yeah, it's a, the some guy from, the, from a mountain took a shot of you know the, the flatlands. So reread the question. Okay. When was NASA's first official photo of Earth taken? It wasn't. I, I can't see your answer, but I think somebody got it. And it wasn't Dottie. Yeah, there's almost every year up there since the turn of the century. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it, actually. I don't see it either. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Okay, well. tell them more. Tell them more, Zulu One. Uh, yeah, because I, I don't it was taken from. It was taken from a V2 rocket. All right. Oh. That one? Well, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna give him the hint. You mean the the fatherland? The das <laughs> fatherland. Those guys? That would put mm -hmm. it in the fifties somewhere, right? Uh, uh, actually, probably it, before. Well, wait, it was we before that, and wow, it, we, it we, was. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was about to say another you, clue is it was a year we mentioned this evening. Something else <laughs> happened that same year. Just a clue. Oh wow, okay. I know what that is, but I'm not gonna say it. Well, Eric Duleon got it. Nice. Yeah, he did. He had a strategy though. <laughs> oh, he just rattling off years. He started in the forties. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, hey, I and this was my first time coming up with questions, man. I'm try I tried. Well, we're good. Right. We're good. I'm trying. I tried. You're fine. All righty. Next next question. Hold on, you didn't. Oh, you didn't say the year. No, oh, 1946. I'm sorry. I thought you said. Oh, oh right, because Eric said a bunch of years. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. You're right. Yes, it was 1946. <laughs> was the first. 1972 was the blue marble, and then there was an official in 2012 that the White House said was an official image. Bullshit. Yeah, you know, it's pretty hard to believe that we didn't get one in 69. It's like they took how many thousand pictures and yeah. yet not one of Earth? Not, not, not yeah, right. for nothing. The first fucking time yeah. out, I'm turning around and looking and taking a picture. That's oh, what boy, I would have shot 10 million pictures. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. On, the, on the last flight on the way home? Really? Really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Everything's so sketchy with them. Everything. Well, it's because they're lying, point blank. Well, right, <laughs> it's all right, BS. Apparently, right. Everything, everything. So disgusting. Too funny. People with ADHD. Uh, all righty. So, next question. 
who did the Red Bull who did the Red Bull sponsored jump over New Mexico at 128,000 feet? Ooh, I know that one. Yeah. It's freaking shills, liars, <laughs> fakes over planet New Mexico. We're looking for the whole name. Oh. Spelling doesn't count, but I think he did spell it correctly. Critical Inception? Is that the one? Yeah. Nice. Nice There was was just a Felix before that, but that's not quite enough, even though I knew who he meant. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Nice. Nice. All righty. Next so it was Felix question. Baumgartner. Felix and, Baumgartner. Yep. For Red Bull. Conception. And the question is, is, was it real or was it really, did it happen or was it fake? Because you guys have seen the, the pictures where the capsule, the, like the Motorola, I think, or the, the, the actual stenciling on it is different. And then NASA responded with something like, well, that's because there was a test run and that's what those pictures were about. And so... I don't know. I don't know if it was real or not. And for, for something like that, why would they fake that? That's what I, I know. Get. Why? Why? Right. Why even bother faking that? Just let them jump. What the hell? You already showed us bullshit GoPro photos. Why do you? Yeah. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. If nothing else, it, it did show us something that I find amazing, um, you know, especially with all this controversy about gravity. Um, it's like, well, no matter what you think of gravity, when you have something that causes stuff to accelerate and not just accelerate, but past the speed of sound, there's got to be a force there. And I don't know what that force is, but um, I have an idea what causes it, but you know, it just makes me think about that all the time. And I don't know how people can deny that. It's like, it's accelerating past supersonic, you know, but whatever, we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh my goodness, it's just so ridiculous. Yeah, I couldn't believe he went up to like 740 miles an hour. That blew my mind. I would have been throwing my puking my guts out. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, he did almost pass out. Did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was going to, he was complaining that he was going to lose consciousness. He almost did. So I think he pulled his chute early, supposedly. Freaking ridiculous. (laughs) So, great, great. Oh man! Uh, all right. So next question: How you guys doing over there? By the way, Mark, Jennifer, good. Doing well. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Haven't heard from me. Just checking. Yeah, just sneaking in flat Earth lessons. You know. Yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, this one I'm sure Bob will know. Okay. What is the name of this formula? I may have not have said it correctly. Intensity equals one divided by distance squared. What is uh, yep. the name of this formula? I do intensity, know what that is. Intensity equals one divided by distance squared. And this, for me, Bob, thank you very fucking much, is one of the hugest things to me that clearly proves these things are not trillions of fucking miles away. What is wrong with people? Exactly. I mean, I mean, it just shuts it down 100%. It's absurd. It's absurd that I never was taught this. Well, obviously, I was never taught this because then I would understand that that's bullshit. That's right. And Critical Inception got the correct answer first, at least from what I see. Um, But yes, it is indeed the inverse square law of light. People think that for whatever reason, just because light is traveling through a vacuum, that it is not susceptible to any type of dissipation or power loss or anything or or divergence. I mean, there's a there's a multitude of things that are happening to a light beam uh, when it's going through. But of course, the the biggest thing is the inverse square law, where you know every meter that it travels, it literally uh, has a brightness factor that that decreases um, uh, exponentially. And so that tells you right there that even if there is an atmosphere, it's going to, light cannot travel forever. It simply can't. I mean, maybe a few hundred miles at best, 
would be my guess, or maybe a few thousand miles at best. But other than that, there's no way we're talking light years or millions or billions of years, uh, light uh, of miles, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, yeah, that is an amazing, yes. amazing thing. But people think that, well, there's nothing to block it in space. It's like, yeah, but it's still diverging. It's still dissipating. It does have to cope with the second law of thermodynamics. You know, it's like it's got all these things that are going on. And people just want to believe that it's invincible. It can go on forever. It simply yes. can't. Right. Yes. That is the well one said. of the hugest for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. And and it's funny to me because it's so so concrete, so solid. What do you how do you how can you even debate it? And then people are still in denial. It's well, ridiculous. you know how people reacted to my, you know, the last time I did that was the the speech that I did in Dallas, right? And that was my talk that I did in Dallas. And I got responses from Danny Faulkner and from George What's his nuts, the you know, nutsack guy. Mm. And they basically Danny Faulkner and both of them, both of them made up their own formula and it just completely wrote, rewrote the simplicity of the inverse square law. And then they said um, that it doesn't apply to a, a point source light. And so I went on the next week and I got all these sources saying, oh, yeah, it absolutely can apply to, you know, uh, no, a non point source light. Excuse me. Uh, it can be reflected. It doesn't matter where it's coming from. Uh, if you have a fixed brightness and intensity at X distance, then it's going to conform the rest of the way out of its journey to the inverse square law. So, and, and that really limits it because like I said, when you calculate it backwards, um, you get a, you get the moon's light of being 4.7 quadrillion lumens if it was to arrive here at one lumen. And you know, that figure is not wrong. <laughs> it's just astounding. But it sure does blow the moon missions all to hell, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I love it. I appreciate your work, Bob. All of the Globusters, everybody, all your guests, everybody. It's amazing. So much well, so you. much information. Yes. We try. Anytime. We try. <laughs> I, I mean, and you know, and not for nothing, but I, I'll just tell this real quick, just because I thought it was really cool. I I was telling uh Jennifer Waters above there the first time I met you and Cammy in North Carolina that were just walking past the walking past you said hello and we ended up sitting down and talking for like an hour and a half that you're just awesome you and Cammy are so so personable and just easy to talk to and just want to share information it's just awesome thank you awesome well I appreciate it I'm glad I'm glad you know what we do is and all of us do it you know we all do it because oh, we yeah. all very much into this and you know we're all we're all stuck our faces out there and um you know so we're pretty much ruined for anything else right mark so you know we gotta just do what we do <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much pretty much what, what do you do this is this is what i do i i, I do the flatter stuff it's like people <laughs> I, I, people get this pause on the other side it's like really <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. Really, it's like really <laughs> honestly. What what else would I do anyway? I mean, nowadays, especially with um, you know, everyone punches up back instead of the old days. They look you up online. It's all good. Yeah, you know, they'll Google the candidate. <laughs> I could you Google me, right? They they they'd, they'd bring me in just to ask me <laughs> questions. I think, and then, <laughs> and then after all the questions, be like. Yeah, you're not getting the job. <laughs> we were just really curious. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh no, we, we, could, just... we couldn't dare hire you. <laughs> we just had to meet you after looking you up. Yeah. It's like, are you for real? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. You can see that. Like, if I was not there, like, they'd pull people in the office, like, check out this guy. <laughs> this guy's running for mayor? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be oh, awesome. Anyway, sorry. Oh, man. Oh no! Thank you, thank you. You're appreciated too, Mark. All wow, of you, two I, I waters tried. above everybody out there in the chat. I seriously, uh, you guys bring so much information to me. Really, a lot, a lot. Cool, cool, awesome. All right. Uh, next question. Uh, what is the alleged diameter of the Earth globe? Earth. 7,915 miles. It's multiple choice, by the way. 8,915 miles or 6 million miles? 
Dottie will probably go with six million miles. Oh nope, Dottie guessed the circumference. She blew it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. And then we got a couple of radius guesses in there. Nobody has guessed the diameter yet. Couple nice. of oh, there's one right there. Seventy nine fifteen, Ian. Nice, nice. Yeah, I tried to. I tried to word. I mean, honestly, waters above helped big time with the way they were worded. But I tried to to make them fun. Cool. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah, cool. a lot of people get radius and diameter and mm -hmm. uh, circumference mm -hmm. mixed up, though. Yeah, and and it was funny the one with the thirty kilometers per second for mm -hmm. sixty. I was like, man, I I bet I knew somebody would get it. I mean. Yeah, because I, I just tried to mess with it a little bit and tweak it. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Very cool. Well, yeah, we'll yeah. have to do more more flat Earth edition of trivia. Um, yeah, we have. Oh, I'd, yeah, I would I write up some say. questions for you. I could be persuaded okay. to do that. Well, the, could, there is another. There is we, another we flat Earth more. edition. Mm -hmm. There is. Yes, there is. Yes. Why, why don't you tell them about it, Zulu? Next week, actually, waters above. Would you tell everyone about it? Certainly. Yes. Yeah, so in one week, we'll have Monday Night Trivial, another oh. Flat Earth edition featuring yes. Karen B. and David Weiss. Huh? So, nice. Nice. And Bob, I would love to take you up on your offer to write some mm -hmm. questions. Certainly. Great. I can do that. Sold. I can do that. Sold. <laughs> Cool. And then we Sorry. also plan on doing a uh, flat earth trivia from the hotel the weekend of Flatoberfest. The Monday yes. right after. So, wow, yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. From at yeah, the hotel we'll, itself, what like in yeah. the lobby or is it gonna be yeah. an event? Yeah, we'll do it at we'll do it in the lobby. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. And uh, we're I uh, I believe and I'm I I don't think I'm wrong that we were going to allow guests who are there to read a question, possibly. Yes. Yes. Anyone who's there live can participate. Excellent. So that'll be Excellent. fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. But thank you both, Mark and Bob, for being on tonight. This was a lot of fun. Um, are, I want everybody to post their points, please. Well, we have to answer this I think, and I have I one more question. Wait. Oh, I'm didn't... sorry, Zulu One. I thought your card was finished. I apologize. I apologize. Okay. Uh, so who got this one was Ian, I believe, right? Yes. Yep. Ian got a point. The first one. Okay. And I have one more question. All right. And this one should piss all of you off. <laughs> what year... Did the International Space Station become fully operational? Ooh, like the Mul Death Star. Yes, <laughs> multiple guess. 1969, 2001, or 2009. What year did the International Space Station become fully operational? 1969, <laughs> 2001, or 2009. <laughs> we got uh, all. We have all the answers in there. <laughs> nice. Nin is that space? Nineteen ninety nine. Twenty thirty. Nineteen ninety seven. Two thousand one. Two thousand one. Two thousand nine. Never. That's the correct answer. Yeah, the that answer, is the correct answer. <laughs> the answer we're looking for is in fact two thousand nine. And well, oil beef hooked. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. All righty. Now, if everyone could please uh, list your points, I think we're pretty sure we know who won. Yeah, she only got seven and a half points. That just seems low. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we had we, 20 we did what? 20 questions? Yeah, yeah. we had 20 questions. Oh, that does correct. seem low. That does seem low. I thought, yeah. Well, we'll find out. Let's see. Let's see what these people are up to here. Yep. So it's Dottie. Want to read the points, Zulu? Uh, <laughs> Smurf okay. for or zero negative zero point five. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, beef hooked one point five. Dottie's world seven point five. Smurf for girl, what else? Minus point five. Ginger point five. 
I don't know how many points one I got. LOL. Uh oh, Alex. Ian, 1.4. Well, it should be 1.5. <laughs> Rico, 0.5. Jennifer Flores, 0.5. I stole them from Dottie, though. Nice. Matrix, 1.5. Valley Parks, 0.5. Larry Siebens, minus 7.5. Did I miss something here? Hinge man has a pointed head. <laughs> nice. Ginger sugar bush, Zulu one jokes. Easy there, Ginger. Mojo shop, 2.5 Celsius. Oh, that's right. Metrics. That's funny. One half. <laughs> one half. Uh -huh. So I'm guessing I'm going uh, judges. We're going with Dottie's World. Dottie's world. Nice, Dottie's nice, world. Nice. Excellent, Dottie. Good job. Congratulations. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, man. I had an absolute blast. I'm so glad you guys came on. And I enjoyed this. Thank cool. you, Waters well, Above. We're... Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Mark. We're happy to be here. Yep. Right on. Totally. Nice success. What time is it? Oh wow, it's only 37. Yeah. Do you want <laughs> a little to, over an hour? Do, since do you guys want to stay on for a little bit? Do you have uh I, desire I to maybe take I, a call? I can't. I've got a previous okay. thing. No but problem. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. He, he's got a thing. I got a he's thing. Got he's got a thing. thing. You got a thing? Well, I think I, I think we should call it probably. Okay. Okay. We're good. Great. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's awesome. Okay. You know I'm what they glad. say? I always leave him want leave him wanting more. That's right. right. There you go. There yeah. you go. Next so, week. yes, next week, Karen B. and David Weiss are going to join us. Excellent. And we'll have yep. uh, some really awesome questions provided they... by Bob. <laughs> yes. Do those you two guys... even like, like each other? I don't think yeah. They do. I hope so. <laughs> I, I hope so. It should be good. Yeah. How hard should I make these questions? Um, well, if we don't want Dottie to win, you can make. Well, him don't as hard don't as make him so hard that you'll stump Dave and Karen. <laughs> oh well, okay, jeez. I guess well, they don't can... get points. They don't. Well, get yeah, but you don't, you don't want. Well, that's what I mean, though. You don't want them going. So, what is the answer, Dave? And it's like, I have no idea. <laughs> you know well, I'll, I'll provide the answer too. <laughs> yeah, okay. There you go. Oh, yes, of course. Okay, so so it'll be the teacher's edition. They'll look smart. There you oh, go. Geez. Oh, jeez. This is going to be great. This We're not fun. listening to this, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so 20, uh, 20 questions I got to write then. Got it. There you go. I can do Perfect. that. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're, You're very awesome. welcome. You're I very awesome. It. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Guy. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you at Flattoberfest soon, Mark Sargent. I'm sorry you're so far away and won't be there. Sorry. That's all right. Thank you for getting me back safely last year. <laughs> hey, well, well, I was driving, wasn't I? Yes, you were. Yeah, I was. Oh, yeah, we have a video of it. We have right. I was the only sober one in the car. I yes, remember. yes, the celebrity. <laughs> I got driven. We got driven home by a celebrity. Is the video right? Right, right, right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's right. Good times. That was a great day. Great day. Yeah. Can't believe it's been a year. Yeah. One year anniversary. Man, time has been going so fast. It's so insane. Fast. Yes. It's almost scary. It really yeah. is. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, guys. Well, All right. All right. Thank Have you again. Thanks, we'll guys. Thanks, everybody Thank in the you. chat. Thanks, everybody. Right. See ya. Hot sex. Hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Waters Above, you want to give them a quick shout out on the way out? And then we'll, then we'll go. Sure. Through, and I'll sure. End it. Let's see. We've got Smurfer Girl Whatevs, Rob Cleveland, Billy and Tano Bear, Ian, Rico's Tinfoil Sombrero, Lunar Node, Valley Parts, Mojo Shop, Singe Man, Commercial Sound and Video, Emilio's Man, David Wolf, Matrix One, Flat Accord Music, BLB So Much Jake, uh, Larry Siebens, Whale Oil Beef Hooked. Dottie's World, our winner tonight. Congratulations. Uh, let's see. Wesley Stace. Ginger Sugarbush, 905. Jennifer Flores. 
Uh, I don't know if I've got everybody. Bane Bear. Nice. Young Love 4020. Uh, trying to make sure I got everybody. Aisling 717. David Wolf. And we had some other people in here earlier. Pepper Flores. Uh, I see Cold Brews, Mojo Shop, Lunar Node. Uh, I just found the participants Healing thing. Fan so Man. Cool. Hey, what's up, uh, Richard? Zulu One, of course. We had Bob from Globusters here and Mark Sargent tonight. Tom Budis. Right nice. on. Cold Love you guys. Out. Thank you. Oh, Daryl Davis, playing. what up? Thank you for staying. Doc Michael, what's up? Nice. Oh. Nice. Awesome. Love you guys. Thank you See so you much. One week. See you next week. Have we'll have fun. <laughs> Bye. Bye.